In 2A, the Park Heritage Wolves making their second straight semi-state appearance. Park Heritage back at Southport this year for the second straight year for semi-state. Facing Forest Park, the first half featured the Max Dowd show. He tacks here for two points for an early lead for the Wolves. Later, it's Dowd with the finish at the rim. He had 12 in the first half and finished with 17 points for the game. Second half, how about BT Loose? He's going to kick it over to Ren Harper for the corner three, and the lead continues to grow for the Park Heritage Wolves in this one. It's the Trey Shelsky show after that. Look at the behind-the-back move from the charity stripe for two more as he stops and pops for the jumper. Wolves led by eight after three quarters. Fourth quarter, it's freshman Carter Crum chipping in some big minutes and points for Park Heritage today as he gets the bucket to go there. Finally, look at Trey Shelsky straight to the hoop. He's going to change hands and get it to go. He finished with 22 points, Dowd 17, Harper 16. The Wolves win by 10, 64 to 44. They advance to the semi-state title game. They were looking to take down number one Brownstown Central and advance to the state championship game. First quarter, Wolves down by five, but not for long. Max Dowd picking up right where he left off in the morning game for three. Park trails by two. Max is not done here. Trey kicks it over to him for three more. He had the team's first six points and would finish with 14 on the night. Here's BT loose over to Ren Harper for the dribble drive and spin in the lay and that ties the game early in the first quarter. Late in the third down by 10 Trey Shelsky for three count all three of those. It's a seven point game Park Heritage fighting in this one. Fourth quarter the Wolves still fighting. BT loose with the turnaround three pointer that cuts the Braves lead to 12. Then a big sequence as they kick it over to Ren Harper for three. That's going to make it a 10-point game. And watch as we stay with the Braves' next possession. It's Dowd getting the steal, then going in for the layup. It's going to be no good, but BT Loose cleans it up. That's going to cut it to eight. However, that's as close as Park Heritage would get in this one. Jack Bencher, the Purdue commit, commit drops 38. The Braves beat the Wolves 66-56. to The final Park Heritage finishes their season at 24-6. and six.